Okay, welcome back and thank you for joining me. So I'll give you an update on what's happened so far and then we'll bring um, my brother Jonathan in, uh, who is Poland over here, and um, cousin Tim, if he joins us, is um, the UK up here. And I've started off as France, so since the last episode there's quite a lot happened. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this, Jonathan, but um, Austria actually declared war on me um, and they're really right next to me. Um, oh dear. <laughs> so I, because I was <laughs> I, I was deciding where to go and um, I've left one troop to defend against Spain and I was just going to go into Italy um, but Austria declaring war on me is just it's got my, my troops going into Austria now so hit around this area I, I combined two, set, two sets of troops as a rendezvous and then with a view to go into Milan but I've diverted them up here um, to go after Austria and then again up here I had two troops converging um, to go to Frankfurt but I've diverted them to come down into where Austria have, have captured all Switzerland so basically what happened is that I sent a loan unit off to Switzerland to this city Bern and I took Bern and then Austria destroyed me so here, here are the event logs from yesterday and if you want to pause um, and read through them then then you're welcome to they're there um, here we go day two day one so you can have a little read through you really want the detail um, but that's pretty much what happened and um, in the meantime I, I made another unit over in Calais and I've sent it over um, to join the war so we just have a and and also I, I took Brussels um, and I've, I've sent a unit over and I've taken Frankfurt very recently so that that's pretty much the overview of what's happened to me but I do want to go into oh, I've just moved him accidentally that happens a lot let's um Let's send him into the melee. So I want to go into a bit more detail of what's happening on, on the border of me and Switzerland um, because Austria have, have taken over Switzerland and um, and there has been some skirmishes so I've taken out a unit that came after this this recon division from Bern and, um, and now this unit actually is going to go in and attack Bern. Uh, it's going to take 2 hours 15 minutes so I should take that quite easily. I don't know if there's much defence there. And you can see here I lost um, like less than 10 hit points. Um, it was like a, a, a mechanised infantry division that, that came after me. Um, and you can see in, in this unit I've got um, a combat recon ve vehicle that I've combined with um, mot motorised infantry. Um, so we've got two units in one there. Two, I think it was two motorised infantries. Um, with another two motorised infantries and a, and a recon division so that's a pretty solid unit there and this one is, is two units again you can see the two um, motorised infantry and they've got um, towed artillery as backup and, and we're going to move them they were they were doing a bit of fighting as well but I think their tank has since withdrawn so we're going to move into this um, city Basil or Basil whatever it's called and you can see they've already started shelling it because they've got the the artillery that can can actually attack from distance. I'll show you on the stats. It says the um, attack range is 50 um, right here. And um, if you have a, a look at another unit that doesn't have that ranged attack um, here, just like a motorized infantry, there's no ranged attack stats there. So this is what's been happening. It's been quite eventful. Nothing happening um, from Spain, thank God, to my to my south, which I was worried about. And and Italy hasn't attacked me yet either, so maybe they're going south um, to start off with. But Germany is getting really done in. We've got Poland, Jonathan um, coming from the west. Um, the UK has gone and dropped in from above and uh, taken a couple of these couple of these cities and uh, moving along the top. And uh, we'll see if he can take Cologne, Cologne as well. And um, if we have a look at what I'm building as well, okay, so we've built something over here. I'm just going to um, uh, build some more motorized infantry in that spare slot. But you can see here I've got combat recon vehicles times four. Um, the blue bar's nearly full, so I've nearly got, in fact, I'm 28 minutes away from about four, four com recon combat vehicles. And then I, I added another couple on um, in the meantime. 
and I can't remember, yeah, we're building a, a level 2 army base. I've got loads of build slots here to fill up. And um, I think that's probably just about the update from me. So um, let's um, hear from Jonathan what he's been doing. Um, Hello. So, um, yeah, uh, the, conquer, the conquering of Germany has gone very successfully so far. Started off by taking Berlin. I've moved up to Kiel. And um, I was just thinking my plan will be to take Leipzig, then move down through Prague, and then that would leave me in a good position to take Vienna from Austria. So they'll uh, certainly be regretting going to war with you. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you're going to go for, for the west of Austria, and I'll take them from the east. Um, yeah. yeah, very nice. And then it um, looks like Tim's uh, going for Hamburg. Uh, with um, yeah, a recon and, um, division and he's got a load of units um, down here in Amsterdam maybe they're just sort of piled there and waiting because they've got smoking or something but we'll see and um, I think what <laughs> I'll do is <laughs> sweep east so I've got Brussels, I've got Frankfurt um, and I'll shortly have um, Bern and, and Basel whatever, and then I'll go for um, Bregenz and maybe even Innsbruck and then I could probably take Villach, Villach or Villach however that said or, or, or not go that far and then, then just sweep south into um, Italy and through we'll have to see how strong they are I mean let's just have a look on one of their cities yeah. they've got a level 1 army base in pretty much everywhere in Rome They've got a level 2 army base. Oh, that's damaged. So someone's been trying to attack them. Maybe some people from the south. Um, who knows? Bari. It's got a, a level 1 army base. And um, Palmero right in the south. Uh, Valletta. Has that been attacked? Valletta looks like it's been attacked, but they haven't taken it over. So, yeah, it looks like Italy's facing pressure from the south which is great for me so that's probably where they've moved all their troops um maybe that's that's the same for for spain who knows um spain right now we've got um not really built people, not many people have made moves um but whereas yesterday we had uh, a lot of um computer players they've now all been filled out with real life humans um yeah. so you know, you, you could have competition from Spain. I could have competition from Ukraine and Belarus. It, it's hard to tell what what's going to happen. I, I think, like, once we take Germany, a couple of days, we can all push into Italy and Austria together. Into the south, yeah. It's difficult to know what Tim's going to do as well because our natural territorial expansion is to the east and south and for you, the west and south. Uh, but Tim's kind of up there in the UK on his own and I, I wonder if he'd go for for Norway or if he's just happy pushing south with us I, I, I think um, Tim's going to go for Norway yeah and yeah, I'll that makes sense. tell you why because um, later in the game I reckon that they, they build up a navy because you see uh, you've got Oslo oh, okay. Stavanger, Bergen um, it's essential yeah. for Norway to have a good navy, and the same goes for Finland. Um, so they're a direct rival to the UK, and Tim will be looking to build a strong navy to uh, to destroy them as soon as possible. Very nice, and he'll certainly have your support because you're just south of them, um, and he, he'll be able to support my west, north, east, south, west coast. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Nantes and Bordeaux, but then we go into a different sea, and I think this, you know, this is the Mediterranean south of me, um, where Italy's in, and um, that's going to be quite a hotbed of of nautical activity. I think um, there's, you know, it's it's littered with cities all around the, the coasts of the Mediterranean, and so there'll be some interesting sea action there to see. I think I'm just having to think about what buildings I'm going for next and what research I'm going to do so I, yeah I'm 3 hours 14 minutes away from 
the Mirage Delta, which is the Strike Fighter. And I've got an Air Base Level 2, Army Base Level 1. So... In fact, at my Air Base Level 2... I'm currently constructing and it's three and three hours fifty minutes away, so I think I need an arms industry level one to also make the strike fighter, is that right? Um yeah, I actually forgot about that yesterday, you do, and it's always a, a good idea to build the arms industry first because then you'd be getting more resources, so uh Yeah. Well, either way. Um yeah, so that that'll be the, the building I construct next. Arms industry level one and they take about a day to build so we're still a, a good day maybe a little bit more away from building um the strike fighters but once we can build them that would be great that'll be additional support um for our ground troops and for each other as well if we see each other getting attacked um so that's where i am with the the research i'm, I'm just researching the the strike fighter are you are you in a similar position um yeah yeah uh I paused the construction of my airbase to build my arms industry, um, and now that's done, I can actually resume it. Oh, um, I see. And so, ah. Yeah, I'll have a strike fighter by uh, tomorrow evening, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think me too. Maybe a little bit past. Um, I've, I've got thirteen hundred rare materials. And uh, so I might be able to buy a few more and just top up to make um, an, an extra research. I've I've got, in terms of vehicles, I've got the uh, combat recon vehicle. The other two options I've got available are main battle tank and a tank destroyer. They're quite expensive though. They're a bit past my means. I've got 1,300 rare materials and they're like 1,750, 2,000. Would you go for a, a main battle tank or a tank destroyer at this point? Go for a um, main battle tank. Yeah, that's yeah, the expensive one. So, something else that you can consider. Um, did you research the uh, infantry officer yet? No, not yet. So here, here are the the officers, and and they're quite cheap. Um, yeah, so it's yeah. only six fifty. Cheap to research, material. just a bit more to build, but. Um... They're, still, they're really powerful units. They're like two units and one. Nice. And so when you've researched them, where do you build them? Where do they, do they appear? Oh, are they... Um, Just, um, they're on the build menu, aren't they? Yeah, I don't have a free yeah. slot available, but if you go to build a troop, they're um, on your tabs. They're on the far right-hand right -hand tab, aren't they? That's it. Yeah. Mm. Welcome, Tim. How are you doing? Yeah. Well, good. Do you want to talk uh, us through um, what's happened with you? We've, we've given a brief overview. Um, yeah, sure. But we can see you've um, landed into to Germany from the top. Yeah, I'm just currently, I've just been hammering away at Hamburg for a few hours with the artillery. Oh. Probably move in there quite soon. Um, oh, yeah, you've got your towed artillery in there. And then I could probably, once I move into Hamburg, Hamburg I can probably just switch my artillery and attack Cologne. Um, for a bit, and then you could move in there when the troops are cleared. So how have you um, done? Oh, yeah, or you, yeah, or you could have Cologne if you want. Either way, I don't mind. Because um, I'm I'm pressing further south because I've, I've I'm at war oh, with yeah. um, Austria, and so I just want to the tr oh, the one yeah. troop I've got near Frankfurt. I just want to bring him down and, and press on Austria. I think. I did see hmm. something happen with uh, some Austrian troops in Bern earlier. I yeah. think you just killed them though. I think two troops, uh, two infantry came out of Bern, like into your province, and then that stack yeah. you've got there just killed them in one. Luckily, I was yeah. a few hours ago. I was in place at the time, and I happened to drop in on the game at the time, and I got lucky. And yeah, there was this um, recon division was further back about here, and then there was a like yeah. um yeah some troops came out of Bern about here and here, and I had two double stack troops. Um, troops and vehicles yeah. ready one with artillery and then I hammered them with my strike fighter and um, yeah I think they got a bit of a surprise uh, yeah because they took yeah. Switzerland yeah, so Ravens. easily got that um, far out there so how did you like hang hang back and just let your artillery bomb Hamburg um, so when you've got artillery 
in a stack and you press attack on a city, it will basically just attack with like the longest range unit in the stack. Mm. Um, okay. So yeah, like, the whole lot will just sit. But then you can split split the stack and just move the infantry into the city and leave the artillery out side okay. attacking if you wanted to as well. Okay. Um, so um, so what you can do with this stack in Basil, um, because you have clicked attack on it, you're not actually going to move into it because you've got the artillery there. So, yeah, it would be a good um. You could just take out your four motorized infantry, uh, press on the stack and click split, um, select them, and then you can move them into the province uh, and you okay. can keep the artillery there attacking if you want. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm doing I'm doing the same. I'm just I had wondered why they were just sitting there. Um, it's good <laughs> to know. <laughs> so let's click on the stack and and split them out. And it's just going to be the artillery that I split out. Um, split yeah. command. So keep back the artillery, move forward the rest, and um, an attack. Oh, and they're going around the river. They're going round round the houses. So my artillery's um, bombing them from across the river, and then the the, the ground troops are going round. Hmm. Okay, Ooh. looking good. And um, I've had a look at Italy, Tim, and they seem to be being pressed from the south. So I think that that's oh, no. distracting them, and that's taking their focus. So that's good for us. And then Spain, they don't seem to be doing a lot. They don't seem to have really be built much or or mo mobilized much. Um, and I am imminently in about fifteen minutes. I've got four recon vehicles about to be built. So that's going to be some good news. Yeah, that'll, that'll help. They're just they're just really good for taking taking land early in the game, really. Yeah. Um, just because they're just that little bit stronger than infantry. A bit faster. I've got yeah. a whole load of like build slots. Have you guys got the same like for building buildings? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a bit low on a bit low on cash right now, to be honest. How much cash you got? Actually, only got three k. Just. Oh. Um, have you been buying oh, materials with it? I did buy some rare materials last night. Uh, about yeah. I think um, I'm going to build another recruiting office. Uh, I'm not going to go too mad. Just maybe build one or two at a time. Just so I don't lose all my resources. Is, it, is there any point in building a secret weapons lab or a military hospital at this point? Uh, oh, hospitals are good shot. Yeah, yeah. Um, and do they heal troops? Yeah, they do. They just boost for each level hospital you have. They just boost the HP day by one. Um, Should mention that naturally um, cities have uh, one HP healing a day value, yeah. and provinces um, you won't heal in at all. Okay, so you have to take a, a troop back to a city. Um, I've got another question for you as well. So we've got, for example, infantry battalions. So they could be healed, could they, if you leave them in a city? Mm. Yeah, example, all, all yeah. units are healed equally. And so what about a like a tank? Can they be healed in a city? Yeah, yeah. same. So they're all treated the same. It's not like they, they need yeah. to be like repairing mechanical parts. It's about healing the troop. Yeah. Yeah. No, the, the plane flies into the hospital and the nurse attends to the plane. It makes perfect sense. Brilliant. So hospitals are well worth it. Um, yeah, especially and they um, increase population growth as well. So. Especially for your cities that are closest um, to the action as well. So I've, I've got um, Strasbourg is my closest city. It's like right in there. Um, yeah. Be a good pit stop to um, be a good point to send troops back to while you're sort of taking yeah. over some of that area in Europe. I'm building um, an army base level two at the moment, so I can't really build a hospital there. So I think I'll hold off on, on hospitals for now. And then once you've taken over a city, you've got to annex it to make it useful, um, which can take up um, an awful lot of, of, of materials. So it, it, you can't mobilize anything from a city you've just taken over. Um, and if you go on here, there's an annex city option, and so 
I've got the option of, of annexing a city, but it's like four th- over 4,000 supplies, for, you know, nearly 4,000 um, of the components, and then 1,500 raw materials. So $10,000 is a huge amount of money, and I don't have the resources even for one yet. So that's something for later game. Yeah. Hmm. What's your strategy, Tim, um, moving forward? Because I was talking about it with Jonathan about how you might go for Norway and about navies and stuff, but we, we didn't know yeah. what you've got planned. I mean, Norway, like, clicking on the cities now, they haven't actually built anything, so it just seems like another one of those players that's dipped into the game and just straight away pretty much gone AFK, so I'll probably just go for Norway um, in, like, a couple of days. Probably, probably just rock up in Oslo. Yeah. Um, Sweden does seem active. Sweden's been building quite a bit, and they've taken Denmark. Uh, okay, yeah. So they've they've taken Copenhagen. Yeah. Yeah. There, there they go. I wonder if you're going to get pressed from the north, um, Jonathan, by by Sweden. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll need to keep a couple of troops in my coastal cities, um, and when I've got strike fighters, then um, I can just intervene if I notice them nearby. Um, but yeah. I reckon, like, if, if there's a, a sea between you and a country, they'll tend to wait until they've got boats before they attack you. So it gives you a bit of time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fair enough. Oh. Um. Oh, we're talking about um, general strategies, Tim, where... Yeah. We're going to keep sweeping down through Germany... And then and then take out Austria, and then we'll just have to think about what happens next, I guess. Yeah, um, that'll be a good sort of that'll be a good point to get to taking Austria. But like to be honest, Austria would be a good one to go for now or soon because they seem to be pushing south. So yeah, they might not really have the troops in their own cities. You might be able to take say Bregenz and Innsbruck quite easily. They might have pushed. I mean, they've already pushed yeah. troops through Bern and into you, so that's some infantry that you definitely know are dead. Yeah, so. they've taken a bit of a hit. By now, they'll have replenished um, yeah. because I'm just about to get a new set of troops, so we'll have to watch out for that second wave. But I do wonder if they're going to be pressing f- toward me in the west or if they're going to hang back now that they know I've you know, stung them pretty bad and then if they're just going to hang back and protect their core and then maybe go after someone else I don't know, we'll have to see but I will press in um, all the way to Innsbruck um, and maybe one more into to Village um, and, and, and who knows beyond but we'll see because I, I kind of fancy pressing south into Italy while they're, they're distracted by everyone in the south but we'll have to see what, how that goes um Jonathan and I think we're about 24 hours away, maybe a little bit more from getting strike fighters. Um, are you in the same sort of position? Yeah, kind of probably, probably more like day four for me, I think. Yeah. Um, halfway, about 36 hours, probably. What have you been uh-huh. mainly focusing on so f- instead? I've got three naval bases now. Uh. Um, so I'm building... Building a round of corvettes, uh, and then I'm going to research frigates tonight. Oh, nice! Uh, um, I'm pretty much just focused frigates uh, for a few days, frigates and strike fighters for a few days. Yeah. And so you're going full navy and air. Yeah, pretty much. And um, I'm I'm doing a bit of a focus on ground units and and a little bit on flight, and um, I think I think Jonathan the same. So that will make sense. Yeah, mm. uh, it's looking pretty good. I've got enough. Um, I could I could spend a bit of money on buying some more rare materials and maybe research something. There's not a lot for sale. Um, I'll buy five hundred at six thousand two hundred dollars and see what that gives me. It gives me eighteen hundred. Jonathan has recommended that. Well, I either go for one of these officers or a main battle tank i kind of fancy the main battle tank but i need another 150 like rare materials so i might just buy a bit more and go for that um 
Let's go $152,000. Yeah, there we go. I've, so I'm going to research a main battle tank. There we go. I've started the research. It's going to take um, uh, ooh, one day, eight hours. And um, I'll have finished researching the Mirage Delta Strike Fighter in about three hours. And then I need to build the Arms Industry 1 where the airbase is. Probably take just over a day. Yeah. I'm not sure how hard to actually focus Navy right from the start. I don't know whether to actually bother with the strikes yet. I might just go straight for Naval. Naval Patrol. I don't know. You're a Naval seafaring country, aren't you? But then, remember, the UK had a very strong air force as well. Royal Air Force. Indeed. And that was instrumental in the war, so I don't know if that will apply for the, for this game as well. Who knows? It kind of will. Because um, all of Norway's cities are coastal, so I can attack all of them with ships and then move troops into them. So I don't necessarily need the strike fighters yet. Yeah. But they'll still be useful for helping you guys, so I might just go for it anyway yeah um, do whatever you think you're you've got three tr three um troops in amsterdam where are you going to be moving them next yeah, down to uh, cologne and through or you can yeah, have cologne if you want uh, or yeah, are you going to take them back up and ship them over to norway yeah i reckon i reckon cologne for now I need to focus the electronics and components quite hard for the shipbuilding. Yeah. So well, it'll give you a couple of cities, won't it? Possible. I'm going to take um, this unit that's taken over Frankfurt and go down into. Um, down there into, into ba Basel and join him up, I think, and spread through. Just on the very edge of having a load of recon vehicles in six minutes, so I'm not far away. Um, they're just going to pop up around my cities, and then I'm I'm just going to move them east. I'm going to move one of them to the south just to help with the defence. I think probably into Marseille, just to help defend that south southern border, just in case I do get attacked because. Yeah. There are countries across the river in 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 Africa, North Africa, and and Spain, and then I'll I'll send two or three um, of these combat vehicles um, to go after Austria, who declared war on me. Um, I can see we've got team progress, two hundred and thirty three points out of four thousand two hundred and fifty five. Nothing really much happening on on the diplomacy um, side of things. I'll see that I've got. I can see that, um Greece, Austria, and Italy are in a coalition together. Oh, yeah. And Mali and Syria, but that's a long way away, so we don't need to worry about that. Oh. Greece, Austria. Which one is it called? North Africa or Allies? Um, no, it's kind of hard to tell. It's not North Africa. We're the coalition. Oceania is New Allied. Zealand. Pakistan. Oh, okay. Um, so they're they're called the coalition is the Allies. Um, and the leader is called Pakistan, but it's it's Italy, Greece, and Austria. Okay, so that's useful to know. Let's have a look at their coalition then. Oh, I should mention we've had uh, three yeah. people apply to join our coalition. Um, Italy, yeah. Oh yeah. Got Afghanistan <laughs> and Belarus flying at the moment, aren't we? And Saudi Arabia. <sighs> What's Belarus up to? So we'll just keep with us at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. I don't really. That's an interesting really coalition. Fine, Austria and Italy and Greece. It's mainly Austria and Italy. Um, there's a bit of danger there, isn't there, with, with Austria and, and Italy. Um, it might indicate, as it Austria declared war on me, that Italy might come to their aid, or they may just ignore me, knowing that Austria 
has engaged me in keeping me busy. So, yeah, it's well worth knowing some of that diplomacy stuff that's going on. What might be a good idea, actually, is so Austria is building hospitals in all their cities. So it might be worth waiting for one of those to be built and then just trying to take one of them <laughs> and then you sort of get a free hospital out of it. Oh, nice. nice. Um, um, it will be damaged, but it will oh, also yeah. be there. Uh, Oh, they've Funk. got one that's damaged already, Vienna. So they're, they're getting... They're they're must... those. <laughs> are you, you're not attacking them yet, so they are being attacked by someone. Um, Bratislava and Vienna, um, also one of their cities in, in the south. Um, can't say it, but something like Ljubljana. Ljubljana? Ljubljana, Ljubljana that's it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, there's a lot of war going on around there. So what's to their, what's to their ease? It's hungry. Yeah, and then Serbia's moving into uh, Zagreb. How do you know that? That's it. Oh yeah. Um. Oh right. One really good thing. I don't know if you've done this yet. Is if you click the settings in the bottom right, you can turn on political view. Okay. Oh, I've pressed something. It's annoying when that happens. Okay, that's fine. Um, it's so, one second from the top, and it, it gives you the color code for all, all the different countries. Show settings, second from the top, toggle political view. Okay, what does this mean then, the colors? Um, it's just each country has a separate color. Um, the default view is just green and red, whoever's uh, in your coalition and who you're at war against. But uh, okay, it shows territory. Europe, but th those will all just be... Um, yeah, so all my territories in blue, all Austria's territories in some sort of light green. It, it, yeah, it does make it easier to see. They've got Sarajevo, which I hadn't quite clocked. Uh, and you can see the Zab Zagreb incursion from Serbia a bit more clearly because they're all in red. So that's yeah, interesting yeah. to see, yeah. Um, I've, just, I've, I've had it on that view for so long that I, I forgot that it's not on by default. <laughs> I'm going to turn it off because I'm not quite used to that. But I have just realised I've got an island that's out near um, Italy called Bastia. Yeah, Bastia, yeah. Which is interesting. Okay, yeah. so that, well, that's where we are. I, I've actually, I must have some more vehicles by now um, because I think it has been long enough. Uh, 26 that seconds. I, I'm going to wait until these combat vehicles are ready then. Um, and it'll be really interesting to to do a, a battle tank. Do I need um, a level 2 army base? Wow, look at their stats. T 9 attack for troops and 8 attack for tanks. Yeah, that's strong. Here it goes. Requirements. Army base level 2, yeah. arms industry 1, and then you've got to research the tank. So when... It, yeah, I do have an army base level 2 being built as we speak. Um, yeah, up in Strasbourg. And, and that's the one that's right into the action. So, yeah, I'm going to be able to deploy some battle tanks right centrally um, once I've researched it. So I'll have battle tanks before I have fighters, I think. Which will be nice. I don't know how much they're going to cost, though. <laughs> will I? Can I afford them? Something like 2,000 components, maybe 1,800, something like that. Yeah, there we go. 1,800 components, 700 troops, 800 chipboards, and $1,700. So I'll have enough for a main battle tank in the next episode we do, which would be great to see. Um, that's going to cause some, some carnage pretty much, um, probably in Austria, I'd say. And, and they're getting hit from all sides. So I think Austria are in trouble. Yeah, for sure. Oh look, I've, yeah, I've just had a load of combat vehicles pop up. Um, oh, I might leave them. Do I want to leave them in the southern cities? I think so. Just to give me some really nice defence that I, that I just don't have to worry about. Um, and we'll move this this into the action. We'll just go and attack um, Bregenz, but I'll, I'll intercept him before he gets there because these guys will have taken out a couple of these cities by then and we'll probably join him up with some, some of these others. So I've got another 
combat vehicle going in. And that's giving me yeah, four spaces to build stuff. But I don't know if I've... Uh, yeah, th this is where you start to run out of supplies. So, th yeah, I'm at the point where I've run out of rare materials and supplies. So I think that's where you get to. But that's why you've built the arms industries um, to increase your resources. So with all my build spots free, I should really um, prioritise the arms industry um, level twos, I guess, because you get quite a bump. Yeah, in the things that you're really sure of or you're using a lot of. Yeah, so for um, supplies I've got... Yeah. So I need a little bit of rare material and fuel, and that's something I can save up for because it's not going to cost much at all. Um, okay, great. So I'm going to save up for that and put them in um, probably three of my cities. I've got two that give me a lot of supplies and then one um, for the rare materials. But I'm building something in the rare, rare materials, a recruiting office. Okay, great. So, any any last words, guys, for for what you're doing? I think we're, we we've covered um, everything w that we're doing so far, and some some good stuff um, in terms of how to play the game and what what you can like use for your political views and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm just going to build up a few sh ships to protect the channel. So oh, I'll be nice. able to at least protect Calais and Paris, along with like London. Oh, very um, nice. And then I reckon, in terms of navy view, I reckon it don't you'd, you'd only really need one, probably Marseille, just because I can't really get there as easily. Yeah. With ships, that'll take a while for me to get there. But um, I can generally protect your north and east. Brilliant. So I can pretty yeah. well. So I can have a, th a think about building up um, a harbour in Marseille just to protect myself from all these people in the med who are who are yeah, quite obviously going to be coming for me at some point. Okay, that's yeah. cool. And um, any, any last um, thoughts from you, Jonathan, in Poland? Um, I'll be focusing on infantry. I've started building my infantry officer. I'll amass a few troops and oh, nice. um, then just start pushing south. I'll let... Um, Tim cover the navy. Uh, might make a few tanks too, and um, yeah, just slowly take all the land. Okay, great. Well, thanks for joining me, and um, we'll see you next time in pretty much twenty-four hours minus half an hour. And um, see you there. Thanks for watching.